Introducing the brand new Price Chopper Rewards. Packed with new ways to save and new ways to spend your savings. Watch your savings add up every time you shop. Whether you spend a little or a whole lot. Just check your Price Chopper app to see the offers we have for you this week. Then choose to spend them at checkout or at the pump. Download the Price Chopper app now and start saving today. Preps KC here with Smithville coach Jason Ambrosen after a 33-7 victory against Winnetonka. Uh, you guys scored on your first three drives and, and really just never looked back. How crucial was that fast start in putting together a complete game here? Well, I think it's imperative to get a fast start against these guys uh, because they run the ball so well. Uh, the Moore kid is a phenomenal back. The quarter, I mean, Satter White's a great runner and great thrower. They've got a, an awesome target outside. She's uh, uh, with Essex. I mean, they just have so many weapons. And if you can get ahead and force them to have to throw the ball a little bit more, I think it helps you, you know. Um, now, I'll give them credit. They stuck to their game plan and ran the ball and did what they needed to do. I think they're a really good football team. I think that, um, you know, we just grabbed momentum early, scored against the wind, took a drive, you know, 80 yards, whatever it was, and then uh, got a turnover and scored, and then scored again uh, against the wind. Um, uh, just played a huge part in the game and shrunk it down a little bit in the first half and just kind of grabbed momentum. Uh, you guys have shown it throughout the year, but especially in this game, a, a really balanced offense when you're able to run the ball really well with Hayden Sig and then have a, a really, uh, you know, when Andrew Hedgecourt uh, is, is such an efficient passer and, and makes a lot of smart throws and conducts the offense really well. How important is that balance? And it was on display here again tonight. When you guys are clicking that well, uh, that balance plays a big role. Well, I think it does. I, I think I, I think what you see is in order for us to be successful and to have such a great outcome like we did tonight, we have to be working on all three cylinders. And that came from the defense getting several stops, came from us making good plays in the kicking game, and then it came from us being balanced on offense. And that, that balance, we were great on third down tonight. I mean, phenomenal on third down. And uh, that was a combination of some runs and some good calls, but good good throws and just kids making plays on third down. And when you can make plays on third down and keep people moving and keep ahead of the sticks, you're going to be successful. And in the games that we haven't been successful, that's what hurt us. We weren't ahead of the sticks. And so tonight the kids did a great job, uh, you know, just 
playing great defense, being consistent in the special teams, making big plays on offense when we needed them, and just moved forward the whole night, you know, on offense. And that's a tribute to my coaches and my kids. Uh, you mentioned the, the defense. That's a team that scored at least 20 points in every game uh, so far before tonight. Uh, just a, a really complete um, effort, shutting down some, some really talented uh, players over there. How much does that speak to, to that group's effort as well? Well, I think, it, I think what it speaks to is we had a weird week. I mean, we had, we had a morning practice because we had home games. We had rain. We had wind. We had a hot day. We had all kinds of things. The thing that never, that never changed was our kids getting to practice and being at practice and practicing well and having a plan and having a purpose for what they were doing and they were right there every day every day and even today we had a virtual day to day early out which was another this whole year has been a bunch of stuff and what i love is i got a bunch of young kids who just love being together love coming to practice have learned how to practice with a purpose and i just enjoy the fact that they know what they want they know how they need to do it and they keep trying to work to get better at it every day and if they keep doing that then you know what they're going to continue to be successful, and I'm very proud of them uh, because it's them that get it all done. Uh, this clinches the number one seed in Class 4 District 8. Do you, do you feel like uh, you, you guys are playing uh, maybe it just as well as if, if you know that you have all year long? And how much, much. You, and how much are you looking forward to what's next? Very much we're playing well. Um, and, and that's good. Now with an off week, that could be different. Um, we're going we're gonna to attack it from the standpoint of how many things we have to work on and get better at. And I just told the kids that I want you guys to celebrate this this weekend. You've earned a number one seed, and that's because you've gotten better every week. Against good competition. And, and at the same time, we have to be ready to come back on Monday, even though we're not playing an opponent, but worrying about us getting better and improving. And then we find out where we go from there. Uh, Preps Casey here with Smithville's Cody Simonsic and Hayden Sick after a 33-7 victory that wraps up the first seed in Class 4 District 8. Uh, Hayden, you guys scored on your first three possessions. You scored two of those touchdowns. How crucial was that fast start? And just, I mean, you guys executed uh, just to perfection pretty much on those first three drives. How much of a difference did that fast start make to getting you guys going in this game? Compared to the world of difference. That put so much confidence into us, so much confidence into our defense that they had a backup, a little bit of a cushion to fall back on. And like that kind of made him play better, play more confident. What was there, I mean, especially you guys converted a lot of third downs on those and, and really were just putting together really long, consistent drives. Was there some momentum that you guys even built a little bit when you're able to sustain drives like that and knowing that everything's clicking offensively that well? Oh, yeah. That's something Amber preaches day in and day out is converting, and I think, I think we did a great job of that. Yeah, some great balance for you guys as well. Sort of some uh, some trick plays with uh, a, a little bit uh, for you, Cody, getting in the end zone twice, I believe. Uh, how much, how when this offense is really clicking, the balance plays such a big part of it between the run and the pass game. How much fun is that to be a part of when you guys are, you know, putting putting up points that well and everybody is contributing, uh, you know, when a really balanced offense. Oh, it's a blast. Everybody's having fun out there. It's just a good time out there for all of us. Uh, great defensive effort for you guys as well. That's a team that has scored tw at least 20 points in every other game. You held them to one touchdown. Uh, were you re how how fired up were you guys and ready for that challenge defensively? Uh, we know they're good. We know they're one of the best offenses, offenses in the state. And we just had to go out there and execute our game plan. That's what we did. Uh, did how, how much confidence are you guys playing with right now? I mean, how, how much of a thrill is it to earn the number one seed uh, in, a, in a big game like this? And do you feel like you guys are playing some of your best football right now? Uh, Hayden, uh, you, same question to you. How how much fun has this season been already? And a week off next week because of uh, the you know six teams in the district. But how ready are you guys gonna you know and focus? You guys gonna come back and feel like to and be ready to play no matter who's on the the, the slate next. I feel like. I, I do. I feel like we're at our peak right now, and that peak is got to keep rising, I feel. 